Border Patrol trying to reunite two young girls with their family after they were found along the Arizona-Mexico border. The sisters, ages four and six, had only a note with their aunt's contact information. This is coming only a few days after a smuggler was caught on video dropping and leaving a seven-year-old girl at the border after getting her over the 30-foot wall with a rope ladder. Joining me now, Florida Congresswoman, Homeland Security Committee member, and Agriculture Committee member, Kat Kamek. Congresswoman, thank you for being here this morning. You've been to the border three times. This is evidence that the Biden administration's policies are allowing people, smugglers, to profit from human suffering. Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. I mean, not only just allowing it, but encouraging it. And when you think about it, Biden's administration is really completing the full trafficking circle for these cartels. They're 100 percent complicit when it comes to the trafficking that we are witnessing of innocent kids. And as you said, I've been to the border several times and I have spoken with little kids that have been abused. I have spoken with kids as young as nine, a little girl who was gang raped by cartel members. It's unconscionable the things that are happening. But on top of that, you have entities like Facebook that have allowed these cartels to advertise their services on their platform. There has been zero retribution, zero accountability. And that is extremely frustrating because you have the cartels that are making out like uh, like banshees in this. I mean, it's incredible the amount of money that they're making, an average of $6,000 per individual that they get across. Uh, I've stood on the banks of the Rio Grande River and watched at three o'clock in the morning as hundreds have poured across and the National Guard, mm -hmm. uh, Texas DPS, Border Patrol, their hands are tied. And thankfully, Texas DPS and Governor Abbott, they, they are stepping up. They are working to start arresting these individuals that are coming over here because the Biden administration, they're hell bent on doing anything but enforcing right. our borders and the laws on the books. And Monica was mentioning this, that they are, the Biden administration is set to revive that Remain in Mexico policy in the middle of next month. But this is after it was ordered to reinstate it by a federal judge. Will this help, Congresswoman? Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. And Morgan's 100% right. I mean, you look at this administration, they are hell-bent on creating a new reality. Uh, and, and I think they're the only ones living in it because the rest of us in America are sitting here scratching our heads saying, what the heck are you doing? 1.2 million in this country, and they're trying to uh, attach amnesty to the reconciliation package, the Biden's Build Back Better plan, which is actually let's build back broke. Uh, they want to give amnesty to all these people that have come here illegally so that then they have a built-in voter base because their agenda is all about dependency and control. And we know that because if it were anything other than that, they would be securing the borders. They would have reinstated the MPP policy back when the court ordered them to. They would continue building the wall because as every single Border Patrol agent has said, that is a force multiplier. And when you have 75% of your agents processing and babysitting in your busiest sector, that is why we absolutely need every tool in the toolbox. It's also making sure that Title 42 stays in place. Right. We are making it impossible for these Border Patrol agents to do their jobs. And at the end of the day, the very basic function of the federal government is national security. We have right. to do that at the bare minimum, and they're failing miserably in doing so. And you throw on uh, vilifying Border Patrol on horseback with lies yeah. coming straight from the White House and the president himself. Thank you, Absolutely. Congresswoman Kat Kamak. Great to see you. Thank you so much for being here.